Maybe tomorrow is the good day. I wish. So he's starting. He's going to be on the pitch. Ajax scored 18 goals, uh, but it's the only club that didn't score uh, from outside the penalty area. Yeah. Do you have an explanation for that? Uh, this one, I think, goes exactly in the way that we want to play, because we want to bring the ball as close as possible from inside of the box. Uh, we want to enter into the box, uh, as you know, Shooting from outside uh, has like very low um, expected goal uh, in terms of uh, conversion. Uh, so this is the way. Sometimes that's why it uh, looks like we take uh, a bit uh, too long uh, to, to arrive to finalize, but we want to take the shot when, when the shot has the proper condition. Um, Uh, to to be to be done um, and and that's all. So this is the way that we we want to do things. Um, tomorrow, in the in the other way, we are facing one team that is shooting quite a lot from outside of the box. Uh, so we are quite aware of this one. I think it's the second or third team with the highest amount of shots from from outside and also with a quite good conversion. They have very good kickers from outside. Uh, so also this one is something that has been analyzed, prepared, and tomorrow for the match uh, to try to block them. Yeah, in, in six games against Feyenoord, Brian Broby didn't score. Does it influence your decision about the striker? Yeah, maybe tomorrow is the good day, I wish. So he's starting? He's going to be on the pitch. Okay. Last season it happened quite some times, right, that you um, started the same 11 players yeah. uh, a few games in a row. This season, um, like we talked about Sunday, is, it hasn't happened uh, so much. Yeah, because for me, Uh, there is not one recipe that uh, works for every club and uh, you know if <laughs> if my job is just to repeat what I did in the past I think you are missing like a big part of um, uh, of uh, of my responsibilities and my responsibility first is the analysis so from where we are coming from uh, the conditions etc etc so Um, when we speak about uh, like yeah, difference from from last season in this, I I had one team that was really physical, uh, capable to recover and to play many matches uh, in a row with the same lineup, and this was the decision that I took the majority of the time. Of course, we had always like the possibility to have two two three different players, but it was very clear uh, who was like uh, the core of the team and which players, the two three players that could uh, move around. Uh, here we are playing uh, much more, first of all, uh, and the reality that today we played already 30% more than what Uh, Feyenoord and PSV played due to the uh, qualification so we have also to consider the accumulation of uh, minutes that we had so far and this is something that is there plus the fact that last season uh, Ajax was a team with the worst um, physicality in terms of numbers and worst um, uh, record of uh, injuries and time to recover the players so if you start to put pieces after pieces together you recognize that maybe what I was doing last season could not be somehow possible here. Uh, so I had to, to change also a bit my beliefs because my beliefs is also that the fact that if you can keep, uh, let's say, stability in the players is also a very good solution. But also the stability means to have everybody on board, everybody ready and not to lose players in crucial moment of the season. So I know that sometimes my decisions are a bit unpopular um, and somehow also difficult to, to understand, not only for you, but sometimes also from uh, my technical staff. Uh, because we discuss a lot uh, in, in a positive way to try to evaluate all the all the possible scenarios. But after, uh, one of uh, my main duties is to take decisions. And to take decisions, it means also um, to watch for today, but to, to watch also a bit in the long term. And as I said, Uh, my ambition as a coach, uh, of course, is to win the biggest amount of matches uh, possible, and this is clear, and this is the reason why I'm taking some decision. But on the other side, to try uh, to really build uh, the basement of, uh, of this club and to try to build on top of this one uh, solidity, stability uh, and, consistency, and consistency through the time. What can you tell us about the, the fitness of the team, not just whether players are injured or not, but also the general fitness? 
General fitness, I think, is quite okay. Uh, uh, of course, we have some players that still are in the recovery process. So this one is Avila, that, as you know, is a long-term situation. Uh, Mansberg, that still is uh, working with the physios. Uh, Linson, that is uh, partially with the team. So I think he's on the way to be back. But of course, he needs to have like a better uh, conditioning in the next uh, in the next weeks. Um, and after we have uh, Berghaus that is going to be evaluated today and after that we will take uh, a decision. So possibly he will be with the team tomorrow, depending cool. on the evaluation. It, it, it's a possibility. It's a possibility. Yeah. Keep it